Hey, it's John of John's PC Hut, and today we're going to be swapping out the current video card that's in this desktop for a new, more powerful, or better performing video card. Now, you might be wondering why we're doing this. We're doing this, one, to show you how to do it, but two, because we'd like better performance in the video card. Let's take a look at our... Windows Experience Index, which is a score that Microsoft provides that gives an idea of what the processing power is for a computer, a computer's components. So I'm going to right click on Properties, and what this is going to do is bring you to the basic information screen about your computer. Now what I want to do is I want to draw your attention to the system area, specifically the rating. Now what you'll notice currently here, what you'll notice here is that the current Windows Experience Index is 3.9. It's not bad, but for a computer uh, that has a lot of processing power, this will not measure. Now what I want to show you by clicking on the actual index is that if you take a look at all of the subscores for all of the components you'll see that they're pretty good for instance the processor is at 7.3 and the RAM is at 7.3 and even the primary hard disk is at 7.7 .7, and that's because we're using an SSD drive however if you look at the graphics score specifically the desktop performance for Windows Arrow you'll see that it's just at a 3.9 and basically the Windows Index the Windows Experience Index is based or determined by the lowest subscore and so it's pulling down the overall score and so we want to swap it out and not only that we've also noticed when we watch videos and we played games that the video card itself is just not performing where we would like it to be performing and so what we're going to do is we are going to swap that out and we'll get started in a moment Okay, the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to uninstall the device itself and we're also going to need to uninstall any software drivers that are associated with it. Now software drivers are just small programs that allow the hardware devices such as a video card to interact and to communicate with the operating system. The operating system being i.e. Windows 7 so let's go ahead and go back by clicking the arrow now what we're going to do is we're going to click on device manager device manager is going to come up and now what we're going to do is we're going to highlight and we're going to click the display adapter section of the device manager and that's going to show us any display adapter that we have installed and in this case we have an ASUS EAH545 series video card not a bad car but as we said before we'd like to see our Windows index experience score a little higher and we'd also like to see better performance now we need to uninstall this card the first thing we're going to do is right click on it and we're going to select uninstall now when we do that that's gonna bring up a box and I want you to bring your attention to this warning sign now the warning sign says you are about to uninstall the device driver from your system well you know that that's why you're doing this exercise and that will uninstall the device it'll remove it but what you also want to do is you want to check the box that says delete the software or delete the driver software for this device doing that and clicking OK will allow you to not only delete the device but any software that's associated with that And we want to get rid of that software because that software sometimes has a tendency to interfere with the software drivers for a new device or a new video card in this case so we would basically just click on OK and that would uninstall the software and uninstall the drivers now in our next lesson we're going to actually physically remove the video card and replace the new one and install that new software or new software drivers this is all for now we'll see you in a moment take care hey it's John we have uninstalled our video card 
we have also uninstalled the device driver or the device software for the video card. There's one other step I want to bring your attention to regarding software and that is to ensure that you have deleted any other software that came with the video card. For instance, I have an AMD card and that AMD card comes with a product known as AMD Vision Engine Control Center or you might have it and it may be called Catalyst. But in any case, you're going to want if you're if you're not using an AMD based card, you're going to want to remove this software. You're going to want to uninstall it. If you are replacing one AMD video card for another and this software is up to date, then you can go ahead and leave this software. But if you were swapping out the current video card, say for a GeForce card, then you'd want to remove this software. So I just wanted to point that out so that you didn't uh, so that we our, our process was complete now after you we've uninstalled the device we've uninstalled the device driver we've uninstalled any associated software that we need to the next step is basically just to shut the machine down to get ready to remove the old video card and put the new one in and of course you just click on the start button here and you click on shut down and the machine will be shut down and the next step or the next part of this process will actually show us removing the old video card and installing the new one take care it's Johnny here is the second part of replacing the video card and that's to actually physically replace the card. Now what we're going to do is we're going to replace the current card which is right here, the ASUS card, the HD5450 for the PowerColor 6570. Now the first thing we'll need to do is to remove the old video card. We've already removed the retaining screw and so all we need to do at this point is just remove that screw. Now bracket and that will remove the card and as you can see this is what the old video card looks like I want to make sure that you can see it it's not a bad card uh, but we're looking to go with something with a little bit more performance so we remove this card and now we'll put in the new card Let's sit this off to the side and now we will replace it with the power color card which uh, should be a little bit more powerful should work a little better so let's go ahead and install that and we will also replace the retaining screw check it here and there you have it and that's how you replace the actual video card now the next step is we'll turn the computer back on we'll log back into the operating system and we'll install the software drivers for this new video card that is our next step I'll see you in a second Hey, it's Johnny. We have turned on the computer and as soon as we turned on the computer the plug and play process for Windows 7 automatically recognized the new video card. It installed the base driver and a message popped up that basically prompted us or is letting us know that in order for the driver to, to be completely installed we need to restart our computer. Let's take a quick look in our uh, properties and our device manager 
just to see as you can see the device has been installed but right now it is showing that um, we'll click on properties it is showing that the device cannot work properly until we restart the computer so we'll go ahead and do that I just wanted you to see that I'm gonna say no right here so I can close down the device manager and we'll close that screen down and now we'll click on restart and when I click on restart what's going to happen is that we should see the new driver installed and it should also change the screen resolution see you in a second hey it's John from John's PC Hut I'm back we have installed the video card we have installed the drivers and we'll take a quick look and we'll go to device manager and you can see that the device is installed and the device drivers have been installed as well you don't see any conflicts everything looks good device is working properly and one of the things that you'll notice is that our Windows Experience Index has gone from 3.9 to 6.7. We'll take a look so you can see closely. Um, you can see we still have the same great scores uh, for processor, memory, and hard drive. And now our graphic scores are much, much better. Instead of uh, 3.9 for the uh, desktop performance for Windows Arrow. Now we're looking at 6.7, which is almost 3, which is about 2.8 uh, points higher, which gives us a base score of 6.7, which is up from 3.9, which is, uh, we like that. That looks good. Not bad for a video card that only cost us about 38 bucks. Well, that is how you install a video card. And that has been your tip for the day from John's PC Hut. Take care and have a great day.